The new Australian of the year, and the new Australian of the year. And rolling. And the new Australian of the year has an even bigger 1986 in store with the release of his very first feature feature feature, feature film. Yeah. Like try breathing. And the new Australian of the year has an even bigger 1986 in. Sorry, that was a bit high. That's it. That's yeah. Right. And the new Australian of the year has an even bigger 1986 in store with the release of his very Trump. first feature. Trump. Sorry. Uh, well, least thing I'm not no flirt. And Just so you know. Lindsay didn't see it. He was in some meeting. Oh. I don't know what happened. The rehearsal tape was fine. It's, it's different life. You'll get there. So, you and Helen, eh? When did that happen? What? She a bit of a goer? I reckon she would be for sure. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing happening between Helen and I. Oh, uh, right. Okay. okay. There isn't. Okay. Just need a couple of shots of you nodding if you just. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Who made the first move? She big spoon or little spoon? Big spoon. I big spoon for big sure, spoon. definitely. Can we focus, yeah. please? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. Mate, every time you read it, you sound more stilted. Just so you know. I might just check on the astronomer. Oh, he said he's coming, just relax. Think of something else, maybe. Hey, so I noticed um, you and Helen are, are keeping a low profile. Yeah. Is it over, or is it just kind of gone underground? Nothing ever happened. Oh, you just stayed at your place. And I heard you made out with her just in Murray's edit booth. Did you hear that? house on one occasion, and we had a career discussion, and that's it. It's... I don't know why you find it so fascinating. <laughs> you know, it's not just us, right? It's the talk of the entire office. Why? I don't Ladies know. and gentlemen, people like to gossip uh, about Helen. I am so sorry. Cloud cover is not shifting anytime soon, so it, there's not going to be any comet visible tonight. Are we still doing the live cross? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> 15 seconds. Okay. Watch me. Just ask the questions and listen to him. Forget about it being live. Just, just listen to his answers. And in 10 seconds. And we're out. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Yeah, thank you. very good, very good. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That's too fast. No, no. My eyes, too. Your eyes were normal openness. What about, what about my head? Was it jerky or anything? <laughs> Damn, you were good. You were good. Yeah. You were great. <laughs> you were great. Damn! Good job. Good job. <laughs> Holy <Thanks>. moly. <laughs> A couple of us are catching the comet tomorrow night, if you want to come. I got something on. Ah. Chef 60th, you going as Mr. Helen Norville? Shut up. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Whereabouts, where were you thinking? My building. I've got an amazing rooftop. It's stunning. I'll give you my number. It's super casual. Just uh, let me know. It's fine either way. Well, are you ready? Yep. Hello? Hi, it's Dale. It's Jennings. Good day. Uh, uh, so it just. Uh, you go. The others have pulled out because of the cloud, but uh, they said it was going to clear on the radio. So, if you wanted to come around, I'll still be here. We don't need the rest of them. I'm actually going to go to the party, Jeff's, with Helen. So, make your joke. <laughs> no worries, no worries. We'll do it next time, eh? In 2061? Sorry? When the comet comes back. <laughs> right. I will see you on Monday. Have fun at the party. OK. <laughs> you pack your swimmers? Sir? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to Darwin, yeah. Oh. 
I thought we'd pick up a local crew. Oh, no, no, no. I covered Darwin for a year. But 81, 82, did the, the trial, the sentencing, and all like the back of my hand. Mm. Great. Mm. Here I'll be traveling with a brand new couple. I guess that saves on hotel rooms. <laughs> Thank you. You sure you don't want to get out of this pants? What? Well, they look hot. I'm fine. What are they? Polyester. They're a blend. They're a blend. Oh. I'm surprised you're not sharing a room with Helen. It's a bit early in the relationship, is it? <laughs> you seem totally obsessed with my personal life. You never talk about yourself. You never ever disclose anything about you. Was well, there something you want to know? No, actually, I, I think people's personal lives should stay personal. OK. You know, my personal life... <clears throat> It's, uh, it's not a secret or anything like that. I just, I just don't advertise it. Because, uh, well, because I am gay. And you don't know how people are going to take it, you know? Well, it's nobody's business but your own. I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable or anything like that. No. No. It's no issue from my perspective. Well, that's a good thing. With Helen at Jeff's party, we sort of just got caught up in the moment. And then we haven't had a chance to catch our breath. And then this story broke, so. It's not like we're in some big relationship or anything yet. Do you reckon it's gonna be? Maybe. Well, I guess you can't fight love. I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> I think I've <coughs> cooled down. Yeah. Right. Good night. Good night. Bit of a lover's tip. Do you have 10 bucks? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. How come? Oh, bribing the neighbors. There you go. Thanks, I'll uh, pay you back. No worries. Why are you killing yourself over this? It's a shit story. Given the job, I like to do it well. You're shooting yourself in the foot, that's what you're doing. You know, if the story comes off well, you're gonna be stuck babysitting Rob. Let him stuff it up. That way they put him back to sport and put you on camera. Are you actually saying the best way to help my career is to do a bad job? That is exactly what I'm saying. Good advice. Can we just get the shots? Got to put coins in the meter. <clears throat> they bombed the police building. Yeah, Ross, get the camera. <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? They're saying they can hear me, but they don't have picture. Hey, we're working uh, on it. picture. We're supposed to be right at the top of the bulletin. I know. OK, the bulletin's on. They want to throw it to me in seconds. Sorry, mate. You're just getting weird black spots. You know what? I'm just, uh, you know, at Dale, stay in position. Wait. Yes. Dale, stay in position, Ross. Can no, you we're me? trying. We'll get there. Tremendous bang and a great deal of shattered glass. 
I stepped out to see a huge plume of smoke, which I followed here to Russell Street and to the burning wreckage you see behind. Tremendous bang and a great deal of shattered glass. I stepped out to see a huge plume of smoke, which I followed here to Russell Street and to the burning wreckage. We're out. Lovely work, fellas. <laughs> really. I'll tell you what, I got some beers in the truck if you boys are keen. What do you say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the technical side. You want to walk it off? I've got to grab the rest of the gear anyway. Okay. Hello? I think they've evacuated the city. some shots. Do you have a minute? You wanna go for a walk and grab a drink? No. Uh, I feel like I should explain myself. I, I was a, I was in a bit of a strange state yesterday. Right. It's just a shock of everything. Um, I don't actually remember what happened or in what order. So, I was just there. I could have been anybody. <laughs> the shots, adrenaline. I, I just came to say that um, whatever happened be between us, <laughs> um, I hope it doesn't affect things going forward. Because we have been a good team, and it would be a shame to lose that over a few seconds. It was a solid minute, from what I recall. I'm committed to Helen. I care about her deeply. The last thing I want to do is hurt her. So please don't tell anyone. Of course. It wasn't the shots, by the way. I never drank them. You first had a job. Congrats. It's quite a milestone. 
Sorry? You don't actually believe that there's people deliberately out there poisoning the blood banks, do you? I don't always get a final say about what goes into the edit. Well, you do get a say, though, don't you? I know it's a sensitive issue for you. Nah, it's just shit journalism. Hi. Can I come in? Dale, do you record every one of your stories? No, just some to review. Do you watch them often? I generally just watch them on the night off. Helen knows, doesn't she? Did she say something to you? No. No, I, I can just tell. the first? No, there was someone in high school. A friend. Didn't work out very well. Can I ask what happened? His father caught us after school one day. They called the police. He said I forced myself on him. And I was taken to the station. In front of everyone. Imagining life on the other side of something like this can be terrifying. It might surprise you. I've worked my whole life to be where I am. Yeah. Surprise me anyway. Um, a relative, so if you could convey a sense of intimacy, that would be great. It's a pretty shit last hurrah. Would you shut up? It's last day, quit. Why to shut up, don't you understand? What? What? It's not a secret. Is it? We're almost ready if you want to jump on the call. Car two. How far away are you? Uh, we're just about to do Dale's stand up. Dale? Hey, man, I need you to get back here right now. Oh, uh, well, we're just about to shoot the stand-up. Um, then we'll come back. Look, it is, it is the end of days here, OK? Look. Jeff's been booted. Rob's done a runner, then he's blown his top like he's literally frothing at the mouth. So I need you to get back here now, please. You're on the desk. Uh, I don't know. You are. So we getting this or?
Tonight, we'll hear from nuclear scientists who can speak to the devastating impacts of the catastrophe. We get all the latest updates from our European correspondents. And we'll bring you the most...